morning guys, so Tuesday the 20th of April 2021 I just um, watched Willow, well I know her She came um, flying into the park like she often does and, um, and, and she went through the same bit um, But this morning there was um, well, the same concrete post that was always there I just heard this um, smack, so she basically just literally ran into it with one of them, smacked a leg on it, and at first looked like she was um, wobbling a little bit. Um, seems okay now. <laughs> well, come on, there's <laughs> nothing in there for you. Oi! My. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, so she absolutely whacked um, part of her leg. I couldn't quite see which bit, but I could see that she was sort of almost limping a tiny bit. And you know, you just have that moment where you're like, oh, no, please don't say you've just done yourself an injury. Um, but she continued to run through it and push through it, which often I find animals do, actually. Um, she might be, she might need to rest it off though, she might be limping a little bit more later, I don't know, but at the moment she seems okay, but it just struck me, um, that, you know, well, I can't speak for other animals and pets, but dogs do have this ability to, um, to bounce back and come back from what can be, or, you know, you would perceive to be quite severe um, challenges. Um, I mean, I remember when years ago we took her down to the beach and she had, um, we just didn't appreciate, you know, at the time, the impact and she was, you know, milling away and exploring, doing a thing and I don't think we realised quite how much she'd perhaps ingested with the sand. Um, it's quite long story short, there was a point Probably about, I don't know, maybe 12, 24 hours after where we noticed she very quickly became dehydrated. Um, she really, you know, was really struggling. And um, we had to pretty quickly get her to the vets. Um, and there was definitely over that day or two, there was a point where I was like, my life, you know, is she going to be okay? Um, but I find that in the same way, um, they can appear to have you know, quickly gone downhill. At um, the same time, they also have the ability to come back from it, I find, just as quickly as well. It sort of reminded me a little bit. Um, at the moment, I'm delivering a course um, for a number of learners that have all experienced some kind of um, whether it be, you know, sort of modern slavery or and or refugees, um, asylum seekers and so forth. So to some degree, um, they've all experienced some kind of um, abuse in some way or other. Um, and the course is preparing them for um, instilling confidence, using IT, looking at their numeracy and literacy skills for life, their mental well-being um, and so forth. And it really does give them also a chance to connect with each other um, so they can you know literally be their own support with each other as well which I find from the last course I did before um, it was really to, you know, that, that support bit, I think, really did um, make quite a difference to each other. But also, you know, the title of the course is called Free Thinking. And I think, you know, a big part of that is actually enabling people who perhaps have, for all sorts of reasons, felt put down, belittled, dismissed certainly that their voice is, is less than 
um, have been disempowered on some level. So giving the ability to be free in a safe environment to, to think and to consider and to reflect and to explore and express is a really, I think, a really wonderful um, environment to be able to, to offer. And I was just thinking, um, I was on about Willow, looking like she'd whacked a leg um, and then sort of appearing touch wood, <laughs> bounce back. Um, I think, you know, some of the, the learners, um, they do need this level of resilience and ability to push through, to dig deep, to have to, you know, deal with really quite hard, challenging, severe experiences that you know, not everybody is, will have understood or experienced or even be able to contemplate. Um, but these learners have done that. Sometimes they've had to be really um, resourceful or creative in, in times of great difficulty, great challenge, great threats, possibly to themselves and others. Um, and that's, you know, to come through that and come through the other side, um, is uh, no mean feat by any stretch of the imagination. So I just think the skills and the qualities that people have really had to utilise and, and, and maybe not even, you know, always conscious or aware of, of what they what it's took from them to get through stuff, but still they are um, here, you know, wanting to make a change and a difference to the life, wanting to engage in in life and learning um, irrespective of you know or actually not just irrespective it's and in spite of their own um, difficult and challenging experiences and I just think that really makes for you know really amazing strong um, resilient and resourceful people um, whether some of them see it like that or not. I um, don't know at the moment, that's a different matter because we've only got to literally just, you know, getting to know each other, but still, that's important to, at different points, you know, enable and empower and acknowledge um, of us to be able to see, perhaps sometimes see what they maybe can't always see, that others perhaps can and really enable that and draw that out. I think that's, you know, that can be the same for other people in life. You know, we sometimes um, it's about uh, believing in somebody else and having that faith and belief for them and in them that they can do something, be something, and um, just keep trusting and encouraging and holding that for somebody or some people um, and f you know for, for some eventually they may grow into that um, that part of themselves that you've hoped and encouraged and and helped um, So guys, let's have a think today about who you who you sort of have a belief in, who um, you you can perhaps encourage, enable, empower, even if they don't quite believe it themselves yet. Um, perhaps look at your your qualities and your you know sort of. What it's taken for, for you to get through certain life challenges and life experiences. Um, 
and just acknowledge yourself and others for that as well. Let's so have the rest of a two to three to Tuesday and uh, I shall speak to you later guys. Bye!